Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Young here, and welcome to the first Batman Arkham Origins news update. I'm a huge fan of the Batman Arkham series, so I am happy to report that a third game has just been announced. As the name implies, Batman Arkham Origins is the origin story for the franchise, taking place years before Arkham Asylum. While we won't be going as far back as witnessing Bruce Wayne suit up as Batman for the first time, it was stated that we'll be playing a much younger, less experienced Batman during a period in which he'll encounter many well-known villains for the first time. The story at its core is that eight of the best assassins have gathered and arrived in Gotham City during Christmas Eve to take down Batman. Deathstroke, aka Slate, has already been confirmed as one of the assassins. I'm also expecting the League of Shadows to be involved in some way, shape, or form. Also exciting is the fact that the setting of the game will actually be a snowy, Christmassy Gotham City. In previous games, we have been in Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, but never in Gotham City. In other words, expect a brighter and livelier open world to explore, with Wayne Manor and its Batcave likely serving as Batman's main hub. Now, while the game has got me excited, there is one thing that deeply worries me. Unfortunately, Rocksteady Studios will not be developing the game. Batman Arkham Origins is being developed by an in-house studio at Warner Brothers Games Montreal. While I am worried, I am also feeling optimistic. I think a new studio working on this franchise means infusing it with a breath of fresh air, if they get it right. I mean, hell, this concept of eight assassins pursuing Batman and exploring a Christmassy Gotham City already sounds pretty fresh to me. Plus, the game's lead game Game designer is Eric Holmes, best known for directing the open world game Prototype, which received generally favorable reviews. Furthermore, they'll be using many of Rocksteady Studios' assets, which lifts technical burden from the new studio, allowing them to focus on designing the game. So honestly, I think this could turn out to be quite good. There is a lot riding on their shoulders, however, so Warner Brothers Games Montreal better not fuck this up. We'll find out how well the new studio fares very soon, with the game currently slated to release, pun totally intended, on October 25th for Wii U, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Alongside Arkham Origins, a handheld game called Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate is being developed as well for the 3DS and Vita. Origins Blackgate will take place after the events of Origins and will play in a 2.5D Metroid-style exploration action game. While most handheld iterations of console games usually end up being throwaways, the fact that the handheld game is being developed by Armature Studio, which was founded by some of the leads behind the Metroid Prime trilogy, has already got me excited. And that is all I have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for more Arkham Origins news as Game Informer prepares to do an entire month's worth of coverage on the game. To stay updated on everything Arkham Origins, be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear. I also cover other AAA franchises and review those games. Also, look forward to my game cinemas, such as the upcoming Skyrim movie Dragonborn, coming on summer of 2013. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Andy Young out.